So basically, uh, since you originally si uh, signed up, Sean, we redeveloped our uh, website platform, <clears throat> and it's now basically more of a marketing system and uh, named the playbook. So we redesigned everything, all the features, um, the layouts. Uh, we now have a drag, drag and drop builder and everything. Um, more so, making it a lot easier for you to have all the services that you need to grow the business, as well as um, uh, customize different things on it, uh, inside your site um, on your own as well. So, um, what I'm going to do is just go to the main areas. You can check out this page. Um, when you get a chance, uh, we'll send over a detailed email with all the information about it. But um, basically, what we have now is scroll down. It's more of a drag and drop website. I'll go to actually your site. So everything that you can see now on the front, you can pretty much customize it in real time by just clicking on that particular element um, and just typing in any adjustments that you want to make. If you want to change any colors. Uh, any text, if you want to change the links to the buttons, uh, backgrounds, everything is customizable now um, by just logging inside of the playbook editor. Um, so we just did the basic layout. We can change the videos and everything like that if you want, if it's, if it's needed. Um, but basically, we have uh, three additional plans. It was previously uh, the startup plan, which is what you want now, but that's now called the Playbook Lite. And uh, we added some new features as well. So you obviously still have the store, which allows you to sell all of your products, your clothing if you want. Um, playbook appointments, which basically gives you your online booking schedule. Um, you can put your availability for your clients to see the times you're available to train throughout the week. Um, they can select the time that they want to work with you and book it, you'll receive a notification instantly saying that a new client has booked a session. You can either allow them to uh, uh, pay from your website or pay in person. It's personal preference. Um, and then you can change it at any time as well. Um, you also have uh, access to the Playbook events, which is basically any time that you have a camp coming up or a clinic, you can have that displayed on your site and you can uh, sub reservations for that clinic as well as payments. Um, it's a little bit similar to appointments and stuff where it's, you know, obviously it's, it's not uh, it's sessions, it's mostly just for the camps and such. The other feature that we have is playbook campaigns, which basically allows you to have access, no worries, uh, you'll have access to uh, our built in email marketing software. So, what this does is it gives you the ability to create campaigns from the back office of your website. Um, basically, we have pre-designed campaigns. So, if, so let's, let's just say you want to uh, utilize Playbook events for setting up a event. You can then send out emails uh, to, your, to your subscriber list saying that, hey, we have a camp coming up. Um, give them a little bit more information about it, and then give them a button to sign up. They can click from your uh, newsletter you send out and sign up right to your camp or whatever it is that you want to promote to, uh, to your email list. Just a more efficient way to grow your business and uh, um, as well as stay in touch with the people that, uh, that you're, you know, you're serving on a, a, a daily basis and such. Um, we also have Playbook memberships, which is uh, for the trainers that want to sign, well, that want to charge per month as opposed to per session. Um, it gives you the ability to sign up new clients and they pay, let's just say, on they sign up on the first of the month. Um, every first of the month, they withdraw that payment from uh, their account on auto credit. And then um, as well, uh, it allows them access to their membership dashboard where they can go in and they can uh, adjust their payment memberships. If you have multiple plans, uh, they can cancel from the back off of, uh, from the dashboard if they want. Um, but this also works in conjunction with uh, the second um, Playbook Suite feature we have, which is the courses. And what this does is it allows you to create online training programs uh, for your athletes. So that way, during the end season, uh, the regular season for them, when they're, when they're not able to train as much, it allows you to build another way to monetize as well as still provide value to them to uh, keep building that connection. And then just reach more people, uh, more athletes 
as opposed to just the ones you can work with in person. You can offer them uh, courses, videos, downloadable PDFs, um, all of that from the back office of your website by them logging in. You can charge per month for this with this, or you can charge uh, per course. It's pretty flexible. Um, so that's the main part of it. Uh, this just includes some of the other things that it comes with. So um, pre-designed landing pages for collecting information. Let's just say you want to offer like an ebook or something like that. You can create a landing page for that. Um, just some pretty other interesting uh, uh, pieces for your business as well. Um, right now, we're specifically advertising the Playbook Plus, which is the highest plan. It comes with all of the features that we just went over, plus a little bit more uh, content. And then the Playbook Pro. Um, what's the, the one that you're, that you're on right now is the Playbook Lite. And that's going to be like our legacy plan. Basically, uh, you can stay on it if you want. That's the one that's $29 a month. You can stay on it if, uh, if you want, but we're no longer actually advertising that one. Um, because these two just provide so much more value and it gives you access to all of the features that uh, you can really utilize to, to expand your business. Um, the, Playbook Pro, the Playbook Plus is 99 a month. The Playbook Pro is 49 a month. And then you're on the Playbook Lite right now with your current site, and that one's 29 a month. And this just gives you access to everything. So the Playbook Store, the appointments, the events, the campaigns, uh, the memberships, and then the courses as well, uh, as well as all the pre-designed uh, pages along with the funnels and such. This, um, so that's just some of the features right there that it comes with. Um, now, shall I ask a question? I want to see your... Go ahead. I'm sorry. You, you, yeah, keep going. I'll ask a question after you finish. I'm sorry. I don't know. I was basically wrapping up. I was going to ask uh, okay. them if they had any specific questions uh, about anything. Okay. Hey, Coach, if you got a question first, I'll ask one after you ask yours, if you have any. Or are you, Dominique? All right, go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Do you have – what kind of volume do you have right now with your training? Just want to see how, you know, how often you'll be using this, um, using the systems. I know you said you want camp sites so you, people can sign up for camps and events and training but what's your volume right now uh, I, you know really i just want it i want it more so when it come to camps and clinics so i like i can get head counts early so that, that'll help me that help me first of all when it comes to signing up people can people can sign up already when they're kind of ordering t-shirts getting the food and everything you know um and then there's also when it comes to training and marketing, instead of you know, always typing out of a text or a Facebook, you have this link where they can go and sign up and register and with a reserved spot. So, um, you know, but the volume of it, it just depends on what time of the year it is. It fluctuates, so you know what I'm saying? But it picks up, slows down just like anything. But I just want it so I can have everything I need, you know, regardless. You know, if I got 100 this week, 100. I got twenty or forty. It, it's giving me options. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't, right. I, don't, I don't. I probably not. You know. I don't want the ninety nine dollar one. Not because I can't afford it. Just you know. I just. I look at the. I guess the, the one I have now. Probably not feasible for what I'm doing. But the the, the next the middle one is probably the best one. I think. You know what I'm saying? Right, mm -hmm. and, and Najee, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot for doing this. Were you off, or you offering a free trial? Even though he's been on, were you offering a free trial to, to kind of give him a feel for it to see if he? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. For the um, if you wanted to upgrade, not well, yeah, from the plan that you want right now, if you wanted to move on to the Playbook Plus uh, Pro, which is the middle package, um, we can definitely give you a free thirty day trial for it. And uh, you can get the full feel of everything you can utilize with it. Um, and I think if you're really doing events, camps and such, I think uh, what would really come in handy is the campaigns. Yeah. I think that would be extremely useful. Um, and we've created quite a bit of content to show you how to utilize it uh, to get the most out of it. Um, um, and, and again, all of the, all of the features work um, together. They're all integrated. So anytime someone signs up, 
for a camp and such, they're automatically uh, uh, implemented into your, your um, subscribers list on the back office of your website. Um, I'll just show you right fast what that actually looks like <clears throat> on the back office. So this is uh, Playbook Campaigns right here. We're just adjusting uh, from its previous name, which is Playbook uh, Newsletters. Uh, I'm going to open this up. Actually, go to subscribers. So anytime someone signs up for anything on your website, whether that's a uh, free evaluation, or whether that's uh, a training session uh, with playbook appointments, whether uh, an event, any action where they're entering their name and their email, they automatically get implemented into the subscribers uh, right here. So you will have a full database of everyone that interacts with your website and gets put into your, plug, um, into your program. So that way, you'll be able to stay in touch with them uh, forever, basically, until unless they uh, unsubscribe or something of that nature, which, you know, if you've given them valuable content, they more than likely wouldn't do so. Um, so this keeps you a, gives you a way to continue to market to them, to give them, you know, valuable information, send out weekly newsletters, emails, things like that, to build the relationship that you have with them. Um, so that way, once it comes time for you to run another camp or such, you know, they just die and uh, sign up for it. And you can send them a uh, campaign with, with an actual call to action to sign up for that event, that camp. That, uh, that camp. And uh, the, it just raises the likeliness of more athletes signing up for it. So, um, so yeah, if, if that's the main functionality you need for events and camps and then as well as for the appointments, uh, definitely would recommend doing the Playbook Pro because it comes with the newsletters uh, and this is probably um, one of the most powerful ways of growing your business by, you know, building that relationship with your clients long term. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'll chime in on that because you, you're, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if you do many memberships, right? You do more appointment basis. So guys come on certain days whenever they can, they can yeah. come. I don't do much at all. I don't do much with the membership. Right. So I just I don't do much with the membership. That's that's perfect thing. Like Najee said, then the the pro will be good. And then like that thirty days, man. I want to like shoulder to shoulder to make sure everything's understood. Make sure we get you on board because I know you have a lot of events. You probably already have a bunch of emails that you can be sending out to people when you want to do a promo on a shirt or a promo on a camp. Like you don't got to go through Facebook too much. You know what I'm saying? Or, or do extra stuff you can just send an email out and that's it you know what i mean i believe i feel like you would like that yeah definitely 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 that 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 that, okay. that, that gives you that your own um, bell just help me even with the marketing if i put on facebook twitter whatever i put it on i don't have to like write a whole blog i can just have <laughs> something going on mm -hmm. in you know what i'm saying Go from there. Send <laughs> people a link too, like, hey, coach, what time can camp start? Or, hey, coach, what what does this do? You know what I'm saying? You just send, oh, here's the link. Here's the link. link. And then they can sign mm -hmm. up there. And then once I start seeing numbers, I can I mean, with numbers, I can put a cap on it. Yeah. Says it's going to be a cap on it so people can sign up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Okay, Do you have any, any questions, Dominique? Anything that you're seeing that's pressing you want to ask about? Not right now. Um, I'm pretty sure there'll be more in the long run. I'm just ready to get my hands on it so I can have some. I think I will have questions, but just none right now. Okay. 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 Um, so if we can, actually, I'll just uh, show you right fast a little bit of uh, how the the editor works, just so you get a feel for it. My sync created a, a entire library of uh, videos just showing you how to utilize the playbook in general, specifically the uh, the playbook editor with all the, the features and such. So I just show you like how easy it is to uh, make adjustments inside of here. So this is your title right here. Um, 
let's just say you have that upcoming count. Um, you want to just change this entire uh, main section right here for the count specifically. Are we waiting or I can just hear no, go ahead. In the go background. Ahead. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so it's that simple to just make a quick adjustment on your site uh, if you want to adjust something. And then you just hit save. I'm not going to hit save now because obviously I'm going to change that out. But you just hit save. It's that simple. Um, let's just say we want to change the background color for this bar right here. Um, when you hover over any section, there's like a little dog air flap. Click on that flap. And this is the color box. So you can literally change this to any color okay. you can think of. So it's super simple, straightforward. The same thing for the videos. Click on the settings, add a new video URL right there. Uh, okay. Everything is drag and drop, super simple. And uh, and again, uh, Lyson created quite a few videos to show you how to utilize it, uh, even further than what I can show you right now. So that's, um, that's even when you, know, you, need, you need to add, like, add pictures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All of it is over here. So you have elements. Um, you just select the image element and you select where you want to add it. So you click right there. Okay. Add image. You can either upload one from your computer or you can just browse um, the ones that you have inside of your library. Uh, let's just select this one here. And this is the other thing, the, the image editor is extremely convenient. Uh, you don't have to go into like any editor program to resize your images, you just upload them um, and then you can make the adjustments inside of the actual editor. So uh, if you want it to be bigger, you can do that. It depends on how you want it to look. Uh, you can expand it out. Oops. So you can, you can upload or go to your library, you say? Uh huh. So anytime that you do upload them, they'll go right into your library. So let's just say you want to swap this image for a different one. You can click right here to upload straight from the computer. And once you do upload it, uh, it automatically goes into your media library, which is right here. Uh -huh. uh, so you can adjust them at any time uh, that you want to add or uh, change the image that you, that's uh, displayed. You can adjust them at any time. Well, if you just don't want it there, you can click the X and they're gone. We just all the element sizes. Um, it's pretty convenient. Uh, add another YouTube video. You just drag that element over there, put in your URL, and then it'll pop up like that one below. Um, the same for anything you really need. If you want to add another text box, um, text there. Uh, if you need to be a specific uh, format, Want to be a header one, header two, all of it is adjustable. Um, you can adjust the size of those specific headers. So let's just say the header two needed to be a little bit larger. And then you'll click OK. So everything is pretty straightforward, but again, um, we'll have those videos for you to get a full feel of how to take advantage of all of it. So um, You'll be good to go. Yeah, what about those tabs up there? Is it still the same, like the home, about us, and all of that? Mm -hmm. So you can just click on there uh -huh. and you know, click on uh, settings. Yeah. And they all load up right here. So if you want to remove any of the tabs, you can just click on the X. Okay. If you want to add any tab, you can click right here and it'll add uh, another item. You can change the order if you want. Yeah. Uh, if you want to. 
just change, let's say, gallery to uh, title of it. Um, and then, so basically, for all of the links, uh, if you have, if you want to link to an external uh, URL from a different website, you can just click URL. But if you want to link to a different page inside of your website, you just click on Post of Pages, and it'll pull up a uh, full browser full of all the pages inside of your site. Um, so testimonials, uh, basically any page that's inside of your website, you can link to it. So it's pretty, pretty convenient, pretty straightforward um, for all of the, all of the uh, elements and such. I mean, just by the looks of it, it looks like it's very user friendly. Just mm -hmm. the way you've it so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dominique, I tell you, I suck when it comes to a lot of web design. So it's good for me because I'm not savvy when it comes to this stuff. And I like really simple things because I can create simple. And I'm proud of my simple stuff. So I know if I can use it, then any other trainer. A player developer can use it too. And Coach Mims, Coach Sean has my number too, so he can text me anytime about any questions. Okay. Or you. Gotcha. I get your I get your info. For sure. Mm -hmm. Um so the last thing we would need to do is just um re register for uh the Playbook Plus. Not plus, sorry, the Playbook Pro. Um I can send you the link. And then that way, as well as you want to change in any of the information uh, displayed, you can do that as well. Do you want me to send you the? Uh, let me see. Can I send it? Sure. <laughs> Do Should I send it to send it to um this email or yeah definitely what? yeah keep that up there but send the link to the one I'm about to tell you okay who do you at gmail yes okay. that one right there it comes to my phone but I, I I don't have I don't know the password to it right now so you know the gmail one is going to um, Stuff too. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is the link to um, re register. Um, and then you just select the plan. And uh, once you select it, then you can basically uh, get you um, reset up for the playbook uh, pro and you'll be good to go. All right, so when I do all, when we do all the updating and everything, since I'm the administrator, I, gotta, I just got to log in with my password and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I believe uh, Sean has, oh yeah, Sean has a, a login right now for his current um, registration. So we can keep that one and you can create another one if you want so that you uh Let's create another one. I, I, I'm, I'm going to create another one, I'll create a new login. And I guess you have to come with a password. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to create another one. So I have one. And the Dominic working with, we both have it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The other thing is you can add um, multiples as well. Um, on the back office of your website, you can always uh, add a, a new admin or if you, need, you know, if you, if you bring in another assistant, you can always just add a new user. Okay. But you, know, you create, when you cr uh, uh, register, you can just create a new one and uh, both of you all will have your uh, separate logins. Okay. Mm -hmm.
That's what Michael Myers playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my jump, man. Don't talk about no Mike Myers, man. That's my favorite. <laughs> my <Yeah>. bad, fellas. <laughs> I, I, I got lost. So we're creating a new username and pro- password. Yeah, give me. Uh, they're, yeah. they're re-registering uh, for the oh, okay. plus. I mean, they're ready. Keep sending the plus for the pro. <clears throat> okay. So one second. But um, it was cool. Like we got in there, like it's all right. Yeah, yeah, Come in, then to be left, like, go back, go, go, go away from the street. Okay, okay. After the video, uh, up, 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 Thank 
Cool sock and get more cool sock to do. Yo, Myson, you boy, I saw you saw you boy PJ last week. Yeah, what? That's what's up, man. I think he's getting a little bit better. Trying to get, you know, you know, I'm working my, I'm trying to work to get PJ and um, Miles come play with us. Oh yeah, PJ's on board, man. I don't know about Miles. Miles is on that you know, team. He's on board. Like he, he, he already said I'm trying. He's trying to get my, I mean, Miles to come through. So um, yep. Like Miles, so he'll come work out with you. Uh, if he, if he can play football. <laughs> Man, I see. I didn't know that. I think his his people said that too. Like he just plays football. He's going to all these camps, and he's just usually tired. But I hear he's like the real deal, man. He's got like top eight in our uh, top two in prep hoop by prep hoops. Yeah, he like he he ranked the number one sophomore in our state. Oh, he's number one. He's number one. They say that you know what I'm saying. He can hoop. Yeah, he can hoop. Yeah. Like he knows how to play basketball. You would love it. Like he knows how to play basketball. The guy loves flash. He wanted, but he knows how to play. He's a leader. He's vocal. He's just sophomore, man. Shoot, I mean, that's that's a kid out. If he had a good head on his shoulders, man, I would love to help him out. And not selfishly speaking, but selfishly speaking, that that helps out with the brand too. <laughs> Bro, he, hey, can't find a better kid, man. Oh man, you shouldn't have said that. I heard. It. How's his dad though? Is his dad one of those parents? Like, dad I good, know dad, good people. Um, say no more, man. <laughs> Say no more. We gotta get him in the gym, then. Gotta get him in the gym. Probably come on, Sunday's, come on. Day. Yeah, on Sunday's a good day if you ever get on a Sunday. How Saturdays for you? Because we we usually train with PJ on Saturdays at Dawkins. If you want to get in there, I talked to the mom too. The mom said it's kind of hard to get big groups in there, but. Uh, Maybe like three, four people oh, at a time. Three or four. That's that's good. We good then. Just let me know what guys you got in there, and I'll talk to the dad and the mom to see, and with that little deal you wanted to hook up, I'm fine with that, man. We're, we're, like like we'll do it together. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? We'll work that out. All right, we can start next Saturday or the Saturday after that, because I got my Saturdays a little 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 more free after this team deal finished. So just let me know what you got in mind. Yeah. So you got something going on Saturday? Yeah, just beside all in Spartanburg. Saturday's all in Spartanburg day, okay. usually. How many, how many hours are you in Spartanburg on Saturday? Just, just two right now, two to three. Yeah, I'm going to try to get my own. My Saturday's been tied up. So, mm. but, so you only use Dawkins on Saturdays? Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Gotta make some time. I might, I'm, I just might, get, I might get the guys with you. You know what I'm saying? Let me know, man. I'll send, send you whatever, whatever you want out of that, and I just get the guys at the gym, do my thing. That's fine with me. I'm, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna contact them and be like, yo. Let me know. We can start this Saturday. You guys still on the form? Huh? No, no, we, no, we good. We're good. Oh, okay. Oh, my fault. I know that form, the registration, the website setup form was kind of longer. So y'all were just doing the yeah, we just trial. put the form on there. All right, so we about to click on it. Um, 
आज so Bison, do you want me to um log in or just pick a whole nother one? Yeah, just a brand that won't be fine. Okay, so just so, yeah, just click on just mm -hmm. click on um sign up now for the Playbook Pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then it says enter your username, and email, and all that. So you just um just fill mm -hmm. that out. Yeah. So that'll just uh allow you to create a basically a new site, but we're just gonna copy over the the content from the current one. Uh, to this one. Okay, so if you can type in uh, for the site name, um, don't put in hoops edu because that's what the current one is on. But if you can just put in hoops edu training, um, that'd be perfect. And then we'll just map over your current uh, domain to oh, it. for the official site. Uh, not official for the uh, what is it called? Let me. How's it display? Uh, where it says your site, so right above official site. So type in EDU trainer. Yeah, just like hoops EDU training or something, some short uh, name like that. It's just a temporary uh, domain. Do I type in everything else, like my username and all that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, that's what you need, right? Say that one more time. I didn't hear that. My, what, what would your username be? Who's it to you? Uh, yeah, if you can create another one, actually for uh, Dominique, if he's going to be using the admin, because we still have yours uh, for your current account. So if you want to let him uh, create one, or vice versa, whichever works for you. Um, that's fine. So who email you want? You want that, uh, that you want my email? The G the who did you email? Mm -hmm, that'd be fine. Uh because we can't replicate the, the one that's on right now. So if you signed up with the hoops in the U at Yahoo, we we'll just need a different one from that. So uh we're gonna use yeah. the email. We're gonna use the Gmail one. Okay, cool, perfect. Oh. Is it official website name? Does you that blank or uh, what you do? Yeah, so you could put in the whole CDU right there. That's always how we do it. Reserve your site. Yes, sir. Reserve your site. <clears throat> and then it's actually for the next step. Is it clear? 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 Is it cl
site name, so I wanted to put the little case more than the name. Is for the email address. Mm -hmm. I can't do the lowercase of numbers. Does it want me to take the rover and the period out? Uh, say that one more time for me. I, uh, I missed that. On the, on the email address, it's saying uh -huh. site names can only contain lowercase letters A through Z and numbers. I have hoopsedu 2015 at gmail.com. Uh huh. Um, do you? Wrong. There's no capital capitals or anything, right? No. Hmm. Uh, let's see. 2015. Yeah, that should work. That definitely well, should work. The, I still put the at, right? Yeah, you still include the at. I'm just trying to see why that would show. Mm. You can try to answer it again. Just uh, see what happens. Maybe it's because it's uh, incognito window. Site names can only contain lowercase letters, A through Z, and numbers. Okay, one second. Let me see if that's the uh, email address you originally signed up with. All right, I, I, I put the Gmail one in. I ain't put the Yahoo one. Did you change that? Oh. Mm. Let me check. Give me one second. Let me see which one you signed up with. Originally. No, that's yeah. Yeah, that's new. Um, do you do you still have your your password for your previous? Mm. You talking about doing my password from my previous um, login for the site? Mm -hmm. I think I remember. Yeah. Let me okay. So, that. Let me yeah. That. yeah, if you can try that. Remember login? Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, uh, at the bottom of it, let me see. It should be like a. It says something about the Very bottom. You might just have to refresh the page, and it should say, uh, I already have a site, and then you'll just click log in now. All right, Jim, try this right here. Click on login now. I'm see. Mm. So it should uh, be a drop down box and then just ask you for the username or email and then password. No, that's he. No, that's he. That's, yeah, yeah I, I, I'm. I clicked on mine. Mm. And, um, it, 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 didn't, it didn't come up. It said, I, "You already have a site. Log in now." Still saying it. Still just give me the pop up for the um for the Playbook Pro. I don't okay. Know, let's, let me, uh, let me click in members login. 
Yeah, you can click there and then log in. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm in. It says hi, hi. Who I'm in. Hoop ZD, I'm in. Okay, so if you um, can just uh, so go back to the uh, backslash playbook, Hoop Institute backslash playbook uh, URL. So where Hub is put uh, you put um playbook. Because right now it says hoopinstitute.com at uh -huh. hub. So I'm just going to put in backslash playbook, correct? Right. Uh -huh. All right. Now it said we're back on the site and hit sign, sign up for a site on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right, we choose a plan that says your site. Do we just put who PD you train like your access do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so you shouldn't have to put in the username and all that info again. Now, see, it's not giving me an option for the username and all that. It's just saying your site and official website name. That's the only two. Yeah, we already logged in. Right. Yeah, you're logged in already, so it's not going to ask you for it. What's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, is looking like is on third. So when I leave it to when I put it together and have the space it says you type my computer number and I put it together. How's it? I'm just I'm getting uh I'm getting a lot of feedback. I can't really uh can't really hear you. Say that one more time. Okay. All right, so mm -hmm. when I'm I'm here, um, oh, so you can uh, if you go back to the Google Hangout, you can share your screen, so I can see uh, what you're seeing. So how do I do that? What do you go to? Uh, on the left, right. I mean, on the left, right. Uh, the top left. Uh, hand corner, there's like a little green uh, box with an arrow. Got your screen share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should have done this like. Right. You see it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see. Okay, let's see. Site name. Okay, uh, double click on that uh, Hoops EDU training. Okay. Hmm. 
uh, erase the U in the training. Just leave it as hoops, hoops ed. It's not gonna make a, a difference. It's gonna, because it's gonna be domain mapped over anyway. So uh, let's just see what happens. So that's good right there. Uh, so erase the training as well. Where it says training. Uh huh. And then just click uh, reserve your site. Let's see. There. Okay, cool, cool. All right. All right. Cool. All right, let me go ahead. So just type that. Get mm -hmm. You can uh, remove the screen share, if, uh, the, the screen share if you want. It's no problem. All right, so I'm I'm gonna share. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna type the stuff in, mm -hmm. and I got a question. So when when I when they, when they when they send me my other card, I just go back and update this information. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so you can always make adjustments to your uh, credit card information at hoopsinstitute.com backslash playbook. Okay. All right. Gotcha. I um I um okay. so got me a screen to upgrade your basketball business with the playbook. Um, What's that? Hold on, okay. Hold on real quick. So you said I can um I can go back and um change the, the credit card thing once I need to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll receive uh, an email, uh, just give me the links to uh, make the adjustments, but you can always just click uh, hoopsinstitute.com backslash playbook and you can change out your credit card info. As long as you logged in, you can change, uh, make adjustment. So it says second ways from your playbook site, do I just put my car stuff in or do I have to choose your plan or just type my car stuff in? Uh, it may be... Let me see. Uh, register. Did you already put in your credit card info or not yet? Uh, I, I, I did, but I don't know if it went through. Let me check for you. It might still be processing. Give it one sec, because it should be redirecting you. Uh, one second. Let's see. This is why I didn't make the same screen. Make sure I'm putting it up to the gate. Make sure I'm putting it up to the gate. Do you want me to re enter it? 
Uh, not yet. One second. Okay. Yeah. No, you're all good. Um, I forgot since you're logged in already, it's not going to redirect you to the um, uh, the welcome page since you're already a member. So now you're all set. Um, I'm going to send you over. Playbook. Okay, so this is the uh, setup form, and basically, um, if you want to make any adjustments to like any of your services or images, basically, once uh, our web developer is setting up your new site, if you want anything changed from the any of the info changed from the current site, uh, we can make that for you. Or if you want to do it like once you have access to the site, you can do that as well. But um, just to make it a little bit easier for you, uh, we can take care of it. All right, so you saying like with the link, I can make change to the to the to the welcome page if I want to. Uh, so so if you click on it right fast, the uh, if you have a, if you have an email open, yeah, I'll just show you. Right Playbook setup form. Mm -hmm. So we'll just ask you all the detailed questions about uh, basically your, your business. So for the most part, we have the majority of the information, but on a few of the next pages after uh, the first couple of ones, they're actually more detailed information. So uh, if you have a specific offer you want to offer uh, to your clients, let's just say a free evaluation or you do like a, uh, a free session or anything like that, a low barrier offer to come in the door, we can add that. Uh, it just asks you quite a few pages. I mean, quite a few uh, questions to um, get a little bit more content on your site and um, get it built out pretty nicely to, to attract your audience for you. So um, it just goes through those questions. Okay, so you want to go ahead and fill this out now? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you don't have to fill it out tonight. Uh, just at your, at, your, at your leisure, basically. Uh, we have the majority of info that we have. We can just take it from the current site and such. Um, but, you know, tomorrow or, you know, once you get some downtime, you can just go through the questions and see if there's anything that you want to add to your site and uh, just submit it once you get a chance. But aside from that, you're all good to go, man. Um, the one last thing we'll need is uh, basically for you to create, if you can, <clears throat> over. but a G Suite, uh, business email account we recommend this because for one they're the they're the cheapest when it's when it's uh, business emails for your business but as well uh so that you can receive all of your notifications when people sign up for an account or uh they join your email list um they sign up for a session with your playbook appointments just to make sure that you're receiving all of those notifications and the confirmations uh, we recommend gmail because uh it's a lot easier for for those emails to go directly to your Gmail account. Um, well, we're going to use, okay, we're going to use Gmail account, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit different from the uh, personal Gmail account. This one is a business Gmail. So it'll, it'll be like, uh, it'll be like, uh, let's just say info at hoopsedu.com. That, that would be the email. But it'll still be a Gmail account. It's just for this, it's just specifically for the business versus like a personal account. Oh, so you gonna set that up, or are you telling me that's what it's gonna be? Uh, so we'll need you to set it up, um, and then just give us like the login access so that we can connect it to your site. I can send you over the link though. And again, uh, this this is just like so you can take care of tomorrow. We don't need the info tonight. Um, once you get it sent over, well, once you get it completed, you can just send it over, and uh, we'll be good to go.
Mm -hmm. um, so, is there any other questions I can ask? I can uh, answer for you. Anything specific that you need? I'm not sure if they on there or not. Who who is? I was just checking to see if they're oh, sure. they left the call. Yeah. But I mean you got everything before they left though, right? Yeah. Okay. Really? Okay, yeah, it looks like it. Oh they did. <laughs> okay. I don't know if he meant to do that, but <laughs> the, 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 well, the process uh, went through, right? Yeah, everything good. They signed up and registered and everything. They got to go. Okay. Okay. Man, I appreciate it. Hold on. Hold on. One second, my son. Yes, sir. No, I was looking at the big Huh? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. They're in the cabinet there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you there, my son? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. What'd you say now? I was. <laughs> everything processed, though. So I'm, I guess we're finished. We don't need to. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. I'm just out, trying to log into the new one for the business. And that's what happened. I'm back. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, that's that's the majority of uh, everything that we needed, like, as far as, like, the info to get uh, get you started with the new site. I would just ask you if there anything that uh, – any questions I can answer for you, like anything that you, uh, you have questions about right now? No, nah, I don't. Like right now, you know what I'm saying. I just you get started, and then um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Well, yeah. So, uh, well, you had anything else, Mike? Nah, just saying. Hit me up about next Saturday, Coach, or the Saturdays after that, and let me know if you have any questions. You or Dominique, man, you can pass on my information if I have any needs or anything. And I'll take care of them. I will. I do that. All right. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the time on Sunday night. I appreciate it, man. No problem, fellas. Take care. Have a good one. All right, y'all. Take care. All right. Broadcast. All right, Naj. Stop. Uh, stop broadcast.